What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Zell, and welcome back to Get Right or Get Wrong. All right, want to come in and talk about some Amazon business at my building. And this might be going on at every building, but <clears throat> we'll find out after I give y'all a rundown. So, they have been installing stuff for a while. You know, I've been always seeing them put, what the fuck is that? These damn nets. I ain't even using that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, um, they've been installing stuff like, the screens, I guess, showing you your rate. They've been at AFE 1 for months, to be honest with you, but they finally made it upstairs to where I'm at, AFE 2. So, you know, I think it's called Percy Power? Per Percy something? I don't know. I got the little Amazon character, the little orange ugly thing or whatever, the Twinkie looking thingy. You no, know, I guess showing you like a, a, a speedometer, showing you how fast you're going and all that thing. I don't think that shit accurate, to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, they got those. The ones that end up do not work yet, but I'm pretty sure they're about to work on that one next. But I know in packing and rebin, they work. So that's one thing. So will that make people work faster? I think it will because some people, I don't know, I guess they want to see that they name at that number one spot. I like how it got whoever, whoever, whoever at your screen. The other names is anonymous, so a person ain't got to talk shit when they see the person. Like, yeah, motherfucker, I, I beat you. I seen you was number three, and I was number four, and I went to over you. Yeah, like, so I'm glad they got it anonymous. So, they, you know, I mean, you can have some competition type shit, but you ain't got to have that shit talking with it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but well, I think people work faster. Yes and no, you know what I'm saying? People who really like, some people just fast by nature. Like me, I'm fast. So, you know, I don't really pay attention to the screen. So I'll be in my own zone. So, you know, I think it's unique. I think it's cool to have or whatever. I mean, if you start giving some contests, they they do give contests, but they only give it to the Packers, which I'm still throwing off on that. Like, the Packers don't get shit without the rebenders or the inductors. Everybody need a contest. So they need to clean that up at my job. <clears throat> so here's the big issue I've been having. Me personally. Well, I don't think it's just me. I think it's a lot of people at the job. So now at the end of stations, they have these big ass speakers, pretty decent size. Well, who, 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 who we looking at? We got uh, 52, 54, 56, 50, 52, 54. So we got about eight speakers on the end of things. So now they playing music, which is it's lovely, you know. Here's the problem. A lot of people are complaining about the music being too loud. Like, really? You hear loud shit the whole shift, but you complaining about some music? So you got people running to HR instead of just going to the manager. <clears throat> like, you you went the extra mile. You people supposed to hit the managers up first, then go downstairs. But no, no not these. And it's older people. They talking about the music is too loud, and they don't like the music that they're playing. So, because you don't like what they're playing, you try to fuck it up for everybody? This is what I'm saying, man. Like It's like, bro, we, we, we try to get some shit that's cool, you know, to make the day a little bit more smoother, go a little faster. And then you got somebody just fucking bitching. And, you know, they said it was an older lady. I know who she is after they described her. It's an old lady with one of them mushroom haircuts and shit. Um... With some glasses. She like a grump. She looks like she's just a grumpy bitch. Like you, you, you don't get no dick at home, or it, the walls probably don't work no more. So you just come into work like I'm having a bad day in life, so I'm gonna bring it to work. I'm gonna ruin everybody's fun. So she like one of those type. <clears throat> but they said it was her and somebody else that went down there. So you know they was playing some Kodak Black, surprisingly. Uh, they was playing a little bit of everything, R&B, rap, all that, and they made sure it was censored. Well, I don't know about the other day. The other day. They played straight out of Compton. It was literally every cuss word on the man. I was shocked. I don't think, I think somebody had the laptop or whatever they had playing on autoplay and they had no idea because the whole song went through. I don't know if they went to the bathroom or they had some meeting. Straight out of Compton, crazy motherfucking night, Ice Cube. I'm like, oh shit, they said all the words and everything. And everybody's looking at the speakers like, I was like, okay. Me, I'm not shocked. I was shocked with the curse words, but you got some people in there that's shocked. Because of curse words, like, all of us are adults in here. Why are y'all tripping hey, those words and blah, blah, blah? And then, you know, probably the N-word, you know, because some 
Some white people probably were like, well, I can't fucking sing along with it, so I don't need to hear it. So you, you just don't know why they went down there, you know? So now, you know, they've been playing music. They're playing all this fucking surfboard music. I'm like, hey, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. You know, it's better than hearing machinery knock all day and these eight iron lights. It is what it is. But, you know, when you get people in there tripping and shit, you just go fucking up for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Now, at this point, it depends on which day you're there, whether you front half or back half. Because all the managers are on different type of time. I know the one guy, like I said, he was playing nothing but surfboard music. And you got, you know, some of the PAs, they jam out. Then you got 1 a.m. They play all that Walmart music. I can say that because I work there. Take on me. Take on me. Take me on. That shit. I'll be gone. And I did Whatever the fuck those words is. They was playing that shit. Um, they had a few um, picnic songs, you know. They play, they, they playing all this family reunion picnic music and shit. It is what it is. I think what broke the, you know, what which crossed the line was, I guess, when they played "Gremlin" by Crowdad Black. I think that's when that lady went downstairs. You switch like a pussy little bitch, you know what I'm saying? She was like, oh my god, even though they did beep up the cuss word, but I guess she using her imagination what they saying. We could be superstars. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, y'all just gotta chill out. If you one of those people's, like, that's a real Karen right there. No, no, no. I don't want to hear that. I'm going to go to HR and tell. Like, bitch, calm your ass down, man. It's just music. Because that shit really do make the day go fast. I mean, think about it. If each song is like five minutes, 12 songs, that's an hour. It's beautiful. Sometimes you look at the phone like, damn, the time flying. Because you dance to the music and you moving. So it, 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 it do. I think it does make the time go faster. But when you got motherfuckers that just want to be a party pooper and just be one of those assholes because you see other people having fun and enjoying themselves, I don't like this. I want to go tell. I don't want everybody to be miserable like me because I'm an old fart. I'm an old prehistoric fossil bitch. I'm old and I'm upset. So everyone want, everybody's going to suffer because I'm mad. Like, chill your ass out. Regardless if they play the surfboard music, uh, uh, they was playing Tame Impala. I fuck with Tame Impala. You know what I'm saying? I don't really care what they play. Like, just play some, play something. Then it seems like it'd be like a low key a music war with AFE two and singles. They be playing eight shit. Then it turn off, and then we play our shit, and then turn off, and it's like, but hey, the singles keep playing the same shit. I'm like, y'all done played that neo song like eight times. She got a run fiend. That's why I love her. Miss NDP. I'm like, y'all done played that like eight times already, bro. It's time to moan, switch, switch it up. At this point, it's torture. Because I'm, I don't want to hear nothing. It got to be a dope-ass song if I'm listening to it over and over. I got some songs I can listen to over and over that, that won't get old. But that's not one of them. You know what I'm saying? That song ain't real no more. I mean, it is to a certain extent, but yeah, oh, wait, wait, these chicks out here. I need to do this, go do this, do that, do that. Well, you ain't Miss Independent. Stop singing that song. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Is this going on at y'all building? Do y'all have music playing? Because I'm not sure if it's every area, but where I'm at, they are playing music. So I think it's a good thing. Like I said, make the time go, you know, go, it go by faster and shit. And you get to nod your head and move a little bit, you know, and you know. I seen a chick or a chick or two twerk to some shit. I forgot was playing. I'm looking like, oh shit! I get to see some booty butt cheeks moves. So it was, it was lit. I'm like, oh shit! But yeah, uh, just let me know uh, what's going on at y'all building. Are they? Do they have the new equipment up there yet? Um, do they got the speakers and all that good stuff? I know the clear bags. They doing that shit. And I guess the ship swamp shit officially starts tomorrow. I thought it was already in the works when I was talking about it, but I guess it officially goes down tomorrow and the bags ain't tomorrow the 12th i think it is yeah that's what everything about to go down tomorrow i guess they wait for that last day for the week boom we start fresh so like share subscribe if you haven't already um if i haven't seen my lives but my cousin jeremiah go ahead and check those out because i see the views is kind of low i want to talk about something right quick too um i see my age group of who listens to me is like in the 20s to the 40s, mostly guys. Um, the percentage of women really wasn't there, but I pretty much know who the females are. 
But when you look at the bars that say subscribe and unsubscribe, a lot of y'all unsubscribe people are returning for damn near every episode. So my question is, why not just hit subscribe? It's free. <laughs> it don't cost no money. It's literally free. You just tap the button. And, All right. You know, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just curious. You know, but I can't tell you what to do. But I'm just like, yo, if I'm me personally as a YouTuber and a YouTuber watcher, if I see some content I like, I'm gonna go ahead and just subscribe, hit the notification button. You know what I'm saying? So if they go live or whatever, I don't miss nothing. But if it's just coming in your news feed, I get it. But it's like, cause it's a subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking the situation. But I looked at my numbers. I'm like, okay, 51 of my 52 percent of my viewers are subscribed. The other 48 are not subscribed. So I'm like, we trying to figure out what's going on here. Like, why? Why not? It, it, it's, I'm, it doesn't cost any money. It's free. But yeah. Anyways, back to my in the way I ended. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Make sure you hit the comments and let me know what's going on at your building. Um, if you got something you want me to talk about, special requests, you know I'm open to do those. I try to tell people don't give me nothing personal, like if something that got something to do with you, because I don't want you to think, oh, that's my friend and we're, we're you know, he's my YouTube guy I watch. He's going to take my side. Like, no, I'm not going to do that. If you give me a story and you tell me what somebody did to you and you did to them, and if you tell me the whole story because it's your side, the other person's side, and the truth, but if you actually give me the story, I'm going to get a rundown who I felt was right and who was wrong. Whether, if, you know, I try not to do that. So I'm like, I'm giving them personal because you're like, Man, fuck him, unsubscribe. And it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I lose subscribers like every other day and I gain some. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I'm still learning YouTube stuff and that's what's going to come with it because I'm not going to say everything everybody wants to hear. I'm not, I'm not made like that. I'm sorry. And I think that's what most people like about me because I don't kiss no ass. I'm unfiltered. I'm going to say how I feel. It is what it is. If you, like I said, I'm not the channel to pander to people, to women, to men, to nobody. I'm just me. I'm a free thinker and I just say how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Some people going to fuck with it. Some ain't. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, I'd rather die a real nigga than live a fake. <laughs> Shout out to Lil McConey. He said that in the song, but I like that quote. That's a good quote. I'd rather die a real nigga than live a fake. So, I'd rather y'all hate me for who I am than love me for what I'm not. That's just some real shit. So, yeah, make sure you hit the comments. Uh, like I said, like, share, subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I am Zell26. Follow me. Uh, if you got some content on there, I'll follow you back. And, you know, we're going to keep it moving, keep it pushing. All right, y'all, take it easy. Don't catch the monkey pox. And it's, time, it's time to match back up. These COVID cases going up for what I'm seeing.